train horn sound like whales. The deadly train derailment in the Bronx are describing the moments after the train jumped the tracks. Chopper 2 over the scene tonight where floodlights are illuminating the crash site as crews work into the night. The seven-car commuter train derailed just after 7 o'clock this morning in a sharp curve near the Spite and Dival station. Four people were killed, two men and two women. And tonight we've learned that all four of the victims are from New York. 63 others were injured in the accident. 11 of those are critical. We have live team coverage of today's deadly derailment from the victims and survivors to what this all means for the morning commute. We start with CBS 2's Lou Young at the crash site. Lou? Cindy, the Metro North train was nearing the end of its 73-mile run from Poughkeepsie to Grand Central Terminal when disaster struck here. The cars leaving the track with such force, they rolled over, tossing the passengers inside around like rag dolls. Uh, I thought I'm going to die, to be honest. I thought I'm going to die. I broke my arm. And it's really painful. With grateful for life and still shaken by the close call, passengers from the Sunday morning train wreck keep reliving the moment when normalcy vanished and a routine ride became a struggle to survive. I'm trying to hold on because I thought I'm really going to die because I'm seeing the water. The passenger train from Poughkeepsie left the tracks with a sudden violent shudder and roll. Along the curve at Spite and Dival, seven passenger cars being pushed by a diesel locomotive. The lead cars ending up in a grassy swamp at the water's edge. When it was over, even the locomotive was on its side. I got thrown across back and forth, and it came to like a halt, and there was just people screaming. Four people died at the scene. Three were found outside the train, apparently falling through the shattered windows as the cars rolled. The train's uh, pretty beat up. Uh, the train flipped to some degree. Some of them righted themselves after they flipped, but there was substantial damage inside. Like a grim lottery, seat selection suddenly became a matter of life and death. I can see some people like flying from my left side to the right side. You see people from the back. It's just crazy. The train went to the left a little bit, and then it slammed down to the right. For the people who live in this part of Riverdale, it was a noise that seemed to be everywhere at once. 